linda. Ay, mi amor. Ay, calma, mi niña. In December of 2015, I flew to surprise my grandma for her 85th birthday. It's obvious that my grandma and I love each other a lot. But she was born before the so-called environmental movement in a time when people didn't even recycle because they didn't need to recycle. Like, everything was reused. They didn't have flushing toilets that weigh seven gallons per flush either. My grandmother takes super quick five-minute showers because she understands that access to clean water isn't a guarantee and she knows not to waste it. She also knows the name of every plant and its medicinal uses and can even identify most birds. She takes public transportation and walks everywhere so she has a very small carbon footprint and I've always known her to be a walker. Unfortunately, Eco-heroes like my grandma go unnoticed in this country. A lot of the eco-heroes we celebrate were born around the same time as my grandmother, but they were born in the United States, and she wasn't. I believe that my grandmother deserves to be celebrated just as much as John Muir, Teddy Roosevelt, Rachel Carson, because she has affected my worldview more than they have. And as a teacher at Environmental Charter High School, I have the opportunity and responsibility to change how my students view sustainability, view the earth, and I hope that what I teach them, they can pass on to other people, and I hope that they learn to make responsible, ethical, sustainable choices, and I know that in the future, the world is going to be a better place because of them, because of my grandma, and because of me.